Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, if you've not seen Eddie Hearn's latest Boxing Social interview, I highly suggest that you watch it. Essentially in the interview, he was running down the past weekend's events, you know, White versus Povetkin, the fallout, etc, etc. But the thing in the interview that caught my eye, or sorry, caught my ear, was the end of the interview when Eddie Hearn was talking about Anthony Joshua's WBO mandatory situation with Oleksandr Yusek. Essentially, he described it as a big problem. And essentially, he was saying any solution to that problem was possible, including vacating, including offering step-aside money, and including fighting the dude. So nothing's like in stone yet, right? We have to make that clear, we have to preface that before any fanboys get upset. But the fact that Eddie Hearn's even talking about vacating, considering how he was getting on Fury in the last few weeks, is nothing short of a disgrace. Okay? I mean, you couldn't really make this shit up, could you? Honestly. I mean, he was taught... The first scenario he gave in regards to vacating was the fact that providing Joshua and Fury win their fights against Pulev and um, Wilder, he was saying that these guys fight for all of the titles, and then after the fight, the WBO instantly becomes vacant. I mean, what's all that about? As far as I'm concerned, that's not undisputed. If you fight for all of the belts, yeah, and then one belt instantly gets vacated, to me, that's not undisputed. Yeah, in the record books, technically it is, but is it really? Nah, let's, let's, let's not take the piss here. That's not undisputed. And um, he summarised the interview by saying, yeah, we may fight him, we may offer step aside, or we may vacate. So maybe they're going to vacate even before they even get to Undisputed, right? So the fact that Eddie Hearn's coming out with this so soon after what he was saying about Tyson Fury is nothing short of a disgrace as far as I'm concerned. Now, listen, my opinion on Fury versus AJ hasn't changed. My whole MO has been to get that fight ASAP, even if like one or two titles is off the line and, have, and they've been vacated. The fact of the matter is, if a couple of belts get vacated, public perception will still see Tyson Fury as number one and Anthony Joshua as number two in the heavyweight division. So it's still the best fight to make. The fight being undisputed, to me, is like a cherry on the top of the ice cream, I guess, right? As far as I'm concerned... This is the biggest fight in heavyweight boxing and the biggest fight in British boxing history. If there's one or two belts missing, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but at the end of the day, is it really going to dampen your appetite for that fight? No, it wouldn't mind anyway. I can only speak for myself. So I've always been open to the fact that this fight may not be for Undisputed. If I was guaranteed to get this fight ASAP with a belt or two off the line, I would take it. I've been clear on that from the longest. Same with the WBC Dillian White Tyson Fury situation. My my whole MO has always been Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Simple as that. But these guys out there who have been banging on about Tyson Fury not being willing to fight Dillian White. How do you guys feel about hearing this from Eddie Hearn in regards to the WBO? How do you guys feel? Are you going to be okay with it? Would you give Anthony Joshua a pass? Or would you hold him to the same standards and say, do you know what, Anthony, before Undisputed, fight your mandatory. FYI, this is a fact, Alexander Yusik has been a heavyweight mandatory longer than Dillian White was. Fact. Okay? So what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? So I'm expecting you guys to hold Anthony Joshua to the same standard. I'm expecting you guys to really apply pressure for him to fight Usyk, especially if Usyk doesn't, you know, want to take step-aside money. Just what I'm expecting from you guys, you know, given the standards that you set for Tyson Fury. You guys are acting like Anthony Joshua is a level above, he's more proven. So, in actuality, he should be held to higher standards, right? See, my whole MO has always been Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua ASAP. And you know the thing I noticed here, there's nothing, you don't get clearer clarity when you view a situation like this, when you don't have a dog in the race, I don't particularly care who comes out on top. I'm not really a huge admirer of Tyson Fury anymore, and maybe in the future I'll make a video explaining why. 
and I've never really been a big fan of Anthony Joshua. So I've not really got a dog in the race here. And when you see when you see a situation from that perspective, you really see the bullshit from a mile away. I see boxing fanboys hiding behind the veneer of objectivity. I saw the same thing with Wilder vs Joshua. The fact of the matter is, and I'll tell you this right now, and I could tell this from, you know, fans' energy in regards to that fight and now Joshua vs Fury. There's a whole heap of fans on both sides who... They revel in the drama, yeah, between both camps. They revel in the, oh, my guy's better than your guy. But a lot of people really don't want these fights to happen because they're so engrossed in their fighter that they don't want to, they don't want to see their guy take a fight that is risky and that they could lose. Again, I'm not saying that's the majority of these fan bases. I'm saying a lot of these guys who fucking hang around on YouTube, on Twitter, that's how a lot of these guys think. I can see it in their tweets. I can hear it in their voice. I can see it in their comments. A lot of these guys don't want these fights to happen. They don't want their guy to lose because for whatever reason, if their guy loses, they lose, you know? I mean, it's a sad state of affairs. It really is. My whole thing has always been the best fight of the best. You know, if that is to be for undisputed, that's really a cherry on the top, you know? At the end of the day, you know, Joshua and Fury, they're the best two heavyweights in the world. If one or two vacate a belt, it is what it is. That's still the fight to make, no matter how you slice it and dice it. It always has been, you know? So my position's been very clear from day dot in regards to this whole fucking mess. But all I'm saying is, yeah, the Joshua fanboys who are giving Fury all of his stick for, uh, for Dillian White, I'm expecting you guys to give um, Anthony Joshua that same sort of uh, pressure. Okay, and what kind of scenario, I'll go, I'll go over it again, yeah, what kind of scenario is having the fight for Undisputed and then the WBO becomes instantly vacant, what kind of scenario is that? You're essentially robbing Alexander Yusek then of a chance to become Undisputed and fight the man in the division, that's what you're doing there. So it's okay to fucking dick Alexander Yusek around, like legitimately, it's okay to literally fuck Alexander Yusek around. But you're crying for Dillian White's WBC situation, which was grossly, grossly, grossly exaggerated from day fucking one. Again, if you follow the WBC timeline, you can see this. So it's okay to dick Alexander Usyk around. It's okay to have Alexander Usyk fight for a vacant title after Fury vs. Joshua happens. All of this is, is Eddie Hearn, yeah? trying to line his nest. If his man loses to Tyson Fury, he's still got Usyk fighting for the WBO, so he would get one belt back and then have another crack at Fury. That is what all of this is about. So, listen, the whole For The Fans thing by Frank Warren, that's become a bit of a meme, but, you know, Eddie Hearn pulling a stunt like this wouldn't be For The Fans, right? So, all I'm, sp all I'm expecting here is a, is a little consistency. A little consistency. That's all I'm expecting. I've said from day one, again, I'll repeat myself once more. All I've wanted is Joshua versus Fury ASAP. No matter what the circumstances. Okay? Again, like I said, boxing fanboys hiding behind the veneer of objectivity. It's as simple as that. Peace.